Hello, I'm coming to you from Columbia, Maryland. I'm up here visiting my mother who has been in the hospital. I have spent a lot of time in the ICU ward recently. And whenever I'm in the ICU ward, of course, I'm praying. And I pray that my prayer is extended beyond the person that I'm praying for. I have a device that I carry with me on trips like this. It's called a portable hotspot. Uh, that means that I can connect my laptop computer to the Internet. And also uh, others can connect, too, around me, and they're perfectly welcome to do so. I'm told up to 10 devices can connect to this one box that then connects to the Internet. I always pray that when I pray, I am a hot spot for prayer for others to tap into with their belief, with their accepting, with their receiving of God's power. I remember years ago, I was at the KU Medical Center in Kansas. At that time, they had hospital rooms with multiple beds. I was there to pray with one man. I prayed with him, but I could tell when I was praying that he was just reflecting my prayer back to me. He wasn't really taking it in. He wasn't a sponge. Therefore, really, he didn't receive the benefits of the prayer. Later on, I received a telephone call from a woman that was two beds down from where he was lying. She said, during your prayer, I felt the presence of God. And that changed completely me from going down to going up and being healed. Many times it's that way. When you pray, I pray that you believe and accept and receive the answer. Now, you wouldn't be listening to this if you didn't believe. But many times we believe in the big picture, we believe in God, but we don't believe in the specific need, our specific need, small or large. Many times it's because we are weary from years of trying to make something happen and it hasn't happened, and therefore we have lost our, our sense of belief that it can happen to us in this specific area. Well, I ask you today to believe with me. We have a brand new year. We have a new opportunity. The opportunity is always within ourselves to accept anew the presence of God. Pray with me now. Dear God, I pray on every level, in every matter, large and small, and my specific needs in general, that I believe and that I accept your power, that nothing that has caused my human mind to go weary in the past is causing me to go weary in the present. I believe in you, God, and I believe that you can do anything. And I believe that you can help me in this specific matter in my life. I do not limit you in any way in my human mind. I know that many times when I have not had an answer, it is just not the time. The time has not been right. I pray this year for answers. I pray this year that I am accepting of your power and your goodness, your glory, and in, in every aspect of my life. And I pray in any aspect of my human mind, I do not limit you, that I feel your power, that I reflect your power to others, that I'm a hot spot of belief for others that see me as they see the answers of prayer working in and through me, I pray this year that I am accepting of you coming through me with a new energy and a new vitality and a new sense of wellness that is manifest in me. I pray that together 
we can do great things. And I do not limit those great things in my human mind or reflect back on my past and my human abilities. I know, God, that you can work through me, and you will, if I accept it, if I believe. And, God, I do. I give you myself in this year. I give you all of my future. But most of all, I give you this moment and this day. Use me and come through me. I pray, God, that you can help me to help myself by helping me to believe more, to accept your goodness more, and to believe that nothing will limit the two of us together as one. God, I sincerely, in prayer in this moment, give you my challenge, my worry, my problem, and I ask you to take over, and I will do my part. I will believe. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. You know, when I went into the hospital and prayed with people, presently and years ago at KU Medical Center in Kansas. I know that I didn't have the power. It was their power laying there in those beds that made them whole by allowing them to become like a sponge and soak in the spiritual power through belief and accepting. I pray today that you do the same. May God bless you, my friend. And I wish you, from Columbia, Maryland, a very, very happy new year.